Ladies and gentlemen, we are in the big middle of the month Thor News December fundraiser push. Because y'all are awesome, I only have $1,001 left to raise. If you'd like to contribute, because I've done a great job for nine years or the last two years, or because it's my birthday on the 19th or Christmas or the end of the year bonus, you can send in a, a letter, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, and I will do my best to bring you guys excellent information almost all the time. Thank you very much. I love you, Asterisk Fight Club. Now let's get to it. We are definitely on red high alert for the rest of December with a focus around Christmas Christmas Eve because of the third Uranus square Saturn. And it is, we've had deadly weather. Uh, the Samura volcano, which pretty much kicked off the month, killed over 50 people. And then we had the massive tornadoes, which killed over 100 Americans. And so there's no reason to be letting your guard down because 2021 has been a deadly dangerous year and there's no reason to think that it is going to end on a quiet note here is the samura volcano that happened at the beginning of the month and we are watching for a possible earthquake or volcano or major storm to hit the west coast but let's not stay a hundred thousand percent focused on that let's be open to almost anything and hey if the rest of december passes by and there are no major storms and nobody dies let us just thank god that we were lucky Let's prepare for the worst and pray for the best. Yeah, we are watching a big storm coming into the West Coast. This storm is expected to be one of the most significant rain producers of 2021 for the Los Angeles and San Diego areas, which has been totally in a drought all year. And usually when the drought ends, uh, it ends with mudslides and hella rain. We had a 5.7 earthquake hit in Guatemala, Mexico last night, and we'd had an earthquake swarm in the Gulf of baja california mexico and one in oregon for a while so we're definitely watching the west coast if we look up the ring of fire towards the north alaska ensemble mean of 25 to 30th fahrenheit above normal on day eight is suboptimal says bb tropical cyclone ruby is burning and churning near new caledonia and could be a problem for the philippines the the hacker info Security people have been talking a lot about this log four shell zero day four days on and how bad it could be. Apparently, it is a large hacker attack that is going after multiple major networks. For newcomers, the reason that we're watching for something around Christmas Eve is because that would be the third Saturn square Uranus. The first one was at February 14th, where we got the huge winter storm in Texas. They shut down the grid, 400 people died. The second one was in June, and they got the heat dome in Canada, a thousand people died. And the third one is on Christmas Eve. Vlad Raduku, we've been through a heat dome. Why not go through a cold dome as well? This is for BC Storm. And then they got hit really hard like a month ago. Infrastructure getting torn up and shit. They are getting a super freeze down. The sun went spotless for a couple days. And after four days of spotless sun, we now see a sunspot region emerged in the southeast quadrant, plus the region close to the limb, not, not rotated on the disc yet, likely contains sunspots. So this week, the solar activity will be higher. Industrial engineer Ari Giores letting us know that we did have a C1.2 class solar flare. Now, models have been all over the place predicting uh, rain totals over the next few days, but the latest model run from the NAM model suggests that in excess of 20 inches of rain may fall in under 48 hours across Santa Lucia range as a moderate atmospheric river stalls over the region. This will likely lead to severe flooding and mudslides near the Dolan Fire burn scar. So, like, definitely West Coast, we are on alert for the rest of December. Now, the latest uh, QPF for the GFS has kind of backed off on the totals. But like I said, model runs have been nuts. And oh, yeah, East Coast, we're watching for a doozy of a kicker that'll move up the coast. I think that starts on, uh, let me go backwards, starts on my birthday, the 19th, but bringing rain to Texas, and then it thickens up and brings some rain and sleet and snow to, to some areas but then bombs out into new york new jersey that area and remember new jersey got hit hard with that one major hurricane although it was a tropical storm when it went over new jersey but it did some damage and here this would make it category two strength it would go from category one hurricane strength although it would be a nor'easter cane or whatever the hell you want to call it and it super bombs out boom down to 962. So is this what we would be watching? It's kind of within like a day or two of the window we're watching. So we're just going to keep our eyes open and scanning all the things.
But remember, La Palma? I mean, how could you forget? So, you know, we had a earthquake swarm down here in Baja like a week ago, and then we had the Oregon earthquake swarm, which was pretty crazy. Some people were saying, ah, it's usual, but we had an earthquake swarm right before the La Palma vol vol volcano erupted. And so, you know, the Oregon swarm happened over a seamount, which is an underwater volcano. So definitely something to keep an eye on. We got a lot of mixed precipitation coming into the West Coast over the next 48 hours, and then it'll move east and then you get your next wave after wave after wave so and then in the middle of the united states of america it is super windy so it's like super wintry here and then it's gonna be wet down here and it's gonna be super windy 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 here and, hey man i said when elon musk sold his tesla stock uh bitcoin was at sixty three thousand. i said this is a good point to get out that was like November 11th, because we knew that December was going to be rough. A lot of people were like, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Stay out of crypto. Well, crypto hit 46,000, or Bitcoin hit 46,000 today. And I think the real trouble is still coming in December, and we could see Bitcoin fall to 29,000 again. If I had to guess a low, I would guess, guess about 23,000 for Bitcoin. But hey, I just, I just like being correct. So, you know, whatever. But it is definitely weird and unsettled weather for December. By Wednesday afternoon, strong wind gusts will stretch from the southern Rockies to the upper Midwest, an area of over 1,200 miles across the center of the country. We're talking anywhere from 60 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts, all the way from Flagstaff to Minneapolis. Sekiro Jima erupted. We have the brightest comet of the year passing by at its close approach yesterday and today. Yesterday, Comet Leonard C 2021 A1 saw us pass by Earth only 35 million kilometers away, making it the brightest comet of the year, which isn't really saying much. But what a difference a year makes. Romanian astrophotographer Maximilian Tidiorescu recreated this composite image of Comet Leonard against last year's brightest comet, Neowise. Yeah, Neowise was like super awesome and bright, but apparently it was a harbinger of doom because then we had, you know, 2020 and then 2021. Which were not my favorite year, or your favorite year. You know, you've been here with me, right? Like a fireball, you just don't stop like a big balloon waiting to pop. Near Earth asteroids really seem to calm down um, from the start of the month. So, so that's cool. One last thing to worry about. Am I right? All right. So, this has been your I'm on vacation with my mom still update. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will do my best to enjoy the last 40 hours of me here in Florida. But yeah, I would super duper appreciate any contributions or donations to Thor News, especially to hit my goal for December. I really feel like I've done a great job the last two years. Um, I got a mailbox, a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, a Patron, $1,001 left to raise. And thank you all so very much. You guys have been incredible Asteroid Fight Club. And I want to say thank you to Darlene, Dave, Jason, Carol, Patricia, Robert, Barbara, Wizard of Oz, JJ, The Goods, The Texas Angel, Mist, Andrea, Alexis, Max, Lauren, Richard, Glenda, Arnica, Light Soul, Dan, Marlita, Brian, Ann, and KJ. You're down here, KJ. You got, and thank you to everybody in Asteroid Fight Club and anyone who's watched and listened and anyone who's helped us make it through. And I still say 2022 is going to be a much better year than 2020 or 2021. So let us all hang around and find out. All right, y'all have a great evening. Um, I think I'm going to go walk along the beach again and then go swimming. And so stay cool. God bless everyone. Talk to you in the near future. Adios. Talk to you soon. Peace out. Hit the button, baby.